Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to introduce you to a new project by Meta which is called as Sapiens. Recent years have seen significant progress in generating photorealistic humans in 2D and 3D. But robust and accurate estimation of essential assets like key points, body part, segmentation, depth and surface normal remains an active research areas. I already have covered a lot of models and projects in that regard and you can see already that not only it is quite expensive to run those models but also they are not accurate including this sapiens ones. It is not perfect at all. I have to be very fair here but given that this is an active area and progress is really astounding. As you can see in this example video, let me play it out and I will drop the link to it in video description too. You see, it's a video where it is not only very trying to correctly identify the pose, segmenting different body parts and then also doing depth estimation plus towards the end it's a normal one. Now depth estimation is one area which has improved a lot especially with all these transformer based vision models so but other than that i think mostly the pose and segmentation are the areas which are um, very very uh, you know need a lot of improvement there but that is where the sapiens try to uh, make a lot of progress and you can see the segmentation has improved a lot plus i think Pose is still a bit flaky when you go out of the comfort zone, but I but I, I'm more than sure that this is going to improve too in the future. Now, the goal here is to provide a unified framework and models to infer these assets in the wild, unlocking various human-centric applications, and that is the key, absolutely. Now, there are three um, criteria which these models should satisfy one is generalization second is broad applicability and third is high fidelity when it comes to generalization robustness to unseen conditions enabling consistent performance across varied environments is key and that is very much valid for the real world applications Second criteria is around broad applicability, which means versatility, making the model suitable for a wide range of tasks with minimal modifications. And lastly, but of course not least, ability to produce precise, high resolution outputs essential for faithful human generation tasks, that means high fidelity. The approach which this project is following is very interesting. Now. They have developed models that embody these attributes which I just mentioned, generalization, broad applicability and high fidelity, which collectively refer to as sapiens. Their approach leverages large data sets and scalable model architectures for generalization. They have adopted the pre-trained then fine-tuned approach for broader applicability and investigate the influence of pre-training data distribution on human-specific tasks. They have collected the human 300 million parameter data set for their pre-training and fine-tuning featuring 300 million diverse human images and then they have pre-trained a family of vision transformers from scratch. They have chosen the masked autoencoder or MAE approach for its simplicity and efficiency. For fine-tuning on human-centric tasks, they used a consistent encoder-decoder architecture which is a very standard these days. So all in all seems real great. So the contributions if you look at it includes um, Sapiens which is a family of vision transformer models pre-trained on a large scale data set of human images and they are demonstrating the effectiveness of domain specific large scale pre-training with limited yet high quality annotations. They have already achieved state-of-the-art performance on benchmarks for 2D pose, body part segmentation, depth and normal estimation. They have proposed a substantially denser set of 2D whole body key points and a detailed class vocabulary for body, body part segmentation and that is 
simply amazing now <clears throat> if you look through the paper a bit more and i will drop the link to it in video description for example here sapien uh, models are fine tuned for four human tasks as i mentioned earlier <clears throat> pose segmentation depth and normal so 2d pose estimation is there body part segmentation is there depth prediction and normal prediction is there and the models have generalized across a variety of in the wild phase upper body full body and multi person images as you can see here moving on to the next example this is the sapiens reconstruction on unseen images so if you look at the top each triplet contains the ground truth on the left the mast image which is the center and the mae reconstruction on the right with a masking ratio of 75% a patch size of 16 and an image size of 1024 if you look at the bottom varying the mass ratio between 0.75 and 0.95 here at the very last row during inference reveals a minimal reduction in quality underscoring the model's understanding of human images images and that is simply awesome if you look at this example this is primarily the ground truth annotations for 2d pose estimation and a body part segmentation and their paper is really full of the examples and a lot of implementation details which is really good and i think if anyone is looking to implement at their own they can do so now they have shared a github repo where you can go and see some of the code but it seems bit incomplete and it would require real good gpu at the moment at least i believe nvidia a100 with 80 gb of vram to properly run it uh, and to reproduce their uh, results but that is again one area where lot of improvement needs to be done so that people would be able to run it on lesser gpu i understand this cannot be seriously run on cpu maybe some day but not now or in the near future but even for gpu i think if it we could be able to run it something under 24 gb of vram maybe let's okay 48 gb of vram that will be awesome so anyway so but sapiens really represents a significant step towards elevating human centric vision models into the realm of foundation models because these models really demonstrate strong generalization capabilities on variety of human centric tasks so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about sapiens i'm very very intrigued by it i will see if i could get it installed somehow on a100 and i will create another video on it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel supporting the channel if you could share it among your network that will be amazing thank you very much